Welcome back to Teach Me How to Clean. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I clean out the inside of my trash can. It's been sitting all winter. It's finally spring here. This is when I really like to go ahead and give this a good deep clean. I'm going to show you guys how I do that, but first I'm going to start by taking out all of the random bits that end up in the bottom here. I'm just going to put on a pair of gloves and <laughs> scoop all of this stuff out. And then I'm going to show you guys how I cleaned the actual inside of this. So let's start there. I grabbed everything off the bottom here and I'm actually going to go in with this Clorox cleaning bleach gel. This is toilet bowl cleaner. I like to use this to clean out the inside of my trash can just because it clings to the side of the trash can super well. And because it does have bleach in it, like disinfects, sanitizes, does all that stuff. Uh, it says kills 99.9% .9 of germs and this trash can reeks. <laughs> it's so bad. We have kids, diapers, various disgusting things go in your trash can, obviously. And this always gets rid of the smell. Of course, it says kills 99.9% .9 of germs, five times the cleaning action, clings 50% longer, which is why I really like it in my trash can and destroys tough stains. Not that I really care about the stains, but I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go around just like you would in your toilet and let this kind of go around and I'm gonna let this sit a minute and let it kind of go all the way to the bottom do its thing. You don't really need a lot to go go a long way, just like kind of in your toilet. I'm just going to let this do it, what it does. Once this gets all the way to the bottom and it kind of sits for a little bit, I'm actually going to go in and scrub with this toilet brush, just a regular toilet brush. I'm going to spray it out in my sink. I have this wonderful attachment here that comes down and I'm going to use that to spray out the inside of the trash can as needed. Uh, you could also do this with a hose if it's nice outside. It's currently raining where I live, so I'm not going to do that, but you could do this in your shower, with your shower nozzle, in your bathtub, wherever. It's been sitting for a while now, probably 10 minutes. I sprayed it out with a little bit of water from the sink just so I have a little bit of leverage here when I'm scrubbing this off. And now I'm just going to go ahead and scrub just like I would normally. This is really the simplest way and the easiest way to disinfect your garbage can. This also gets rid of all the smell. Of course it does smell like bleach. There's bleach in it. There's not really much you can do about that. Uh, if you wanted something a little bit more natural, you could definitely do that. However, I like to clean with bleach because like I said, garbage can just harbors so much bacteria and nasty stuff. It uh, is just good to go ahead and give it a really good scrub every once in a while to clear that out. But of course down here is where it really gets nasty because it all sits and festers here. So. I like using my toilet brush because it gets in this really well for my garbage can at least and I can just get in there and really scrub all those away. So now that I feel satisfied with this, I'm actually going to set my toilet brush right on top of my lid here because I'm going to clean this out too just so I have somewhere to set it while I kind of prop this up in my sink and spray this out really clean and rinse out all the bleach and everything and go ahead and let this dry. I'm actually going to set this outside on my front porch, tipped upside down like you would a cup so it can dry, everything can kind of leak out and stuff. And then I'm going to move on to cleaning this with the same kind of method, just scrubbing it all out to get kind of those gunk off, those gunked up places all cleaned up. Now I have my stuff laid out on my front porch here and I'm just gonna go ahead and let this dry. Like I said, my trash can is upside down so everything can drip out. Uh, do this until it's dry or if you didn't want to do this process, you could always just go ahead and wipe it out with a towel. Do whatever, I'm gonna do this, it's a nice day. Well, minus the rain. But I'm gonna go ahead and let these dry this way and of course, you also could go ahead and disinfect your kitchen sink if you wanna see a video on how to maintain your stainless steel sink. I have one of those, I will link it down below for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video, bye.